What is going on guys? It is Lynx Warlord here bringing you a 30 to 4 gameplay on the map mission of me rushing around with the P90 guys. Now in this video I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how to get a good KD when you're rushing and how to get a good KD in Team Deathmatch because Team Deathmatch it's such an amazing gameplay guys and it's often overlooked because you often see me, I upload a lot of domination, everyone on YouTube kind of plays domination because you know, once you take two flags, you take the B flag and you take a home flag, you can kind of spawn trap and all that. And it's 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 a game that you see an awful lot of on YouTube, guys. But I'm going to start to bring out a lot more Team Deathmatch gameplays. And it's always going to be 6v6 Team Deathmatch, guys, because I think Ground War Team Deathmatch is a total different game, guys. But I'm going to, I'll speak about that later on in uh, some future videos. But how to get a good KD in Team Deathmatch, guys. Now, you see, the reason that you should get a good KD in Team Deathmatch is because Team Deathmatches are over really, really quickly, which makes it so, so easy. And the reason it's easy to get a good a good KD in Team Deathmatch is because there are some really really bad players in Team Deathmatch and it's not just that you've got to try and pick a lobby with bad players it's that the players in Team Deathmatch tend to not use Stinger missiles and the reason they don't use Stinger missiles is because the gameplay the game is over pretty fast you know there's only 75 kills to get so it's over really really fast so you need to take advantage of this guys and the best way to play Team Deathmatch is to use a submachine gun and it's to rush with Hardline on now what Hardline does is it lets you get your kill streaks quicker everybody knows that guys and you'll see right there and then we're about a minute into the gameplay and I've just got my payload okay now I know this game's over. I'm going to win this game. One, because they've let me get a pave low, and two, because the pave low's up. And when the pave, once the pave low's up in the sky, guys, the game is pretty much over on a team deathmatch. Because as I say, people don't use stinger missiles half as much on team deathmatch, guys. So your kill streaks do ten times better. And the reason I've got the attack helicopter on, as mentioned in my other videos, was because it keeps up with the pace of gameplay. You should never use the reaper when you're rushing. And you know the straight front and the AH6 Overwatch, they just don't some pretty bad kill streaks guys and there's no need for them because the attack helicopter does what you need and, it, and you can get it instantly and it will push people inside it's not that the attack helicopter is like a really really good kill streak it's that it's it's kind of intimidating it means an enemy wants to be inside on a map and on a map like mission guys there really isn't any way that the teammates can go so what they've got to do is they've got to come outside my tech helicopter i'll weaken them if not kill them which will lead me to my pave low, guys which is really really good now the strength of the pave low is absolutely fantastic i will be putting out a video comparing the pave to the AC-130 guys now on the whole I'm gonna just tell you now in, instead of making you watch that video you know the pace the pave low is pretty much 10 times better than the AC-130 because it lasts longer it goes for more enemies and it never runs out of bullets kind of thing like with the AC-130 you've got to wait for it to reload which is pretty bad I think the AC-130 could have been one kill less to be honest with you guys but anyway what weapon should you use in Team Deathmatch guys you should always use a submachine gun in Team Deathmatch because it's whoever gets the kill streaks first you know if they if the enemy team gets an attack helicopter and you're playing by yourself then you really, really, you know, you kind of, you either have to run a stinger missile or you have to do something about it, guys. And the way to do that is to press the enemies, make sure they're not getting kill streaks, make sure that you and your team are the only one getting kill streaks, guys. Now, a really good thing to use on Team Deathmatch is the UAV counter UAV setup. Now, what I mean by that is just using the UAV and the counter UAV with hardline on. Now these are some really good kill streaks to use on search and destroy because they keep looping round. Now what I mean by that is you'll get a UAV, you'll get a counter UAV which is just four kills, and then it'll reset and then you can go and get your UAV again. That's really really powerful because it will always block their radar. You will always have a UAV in the sky, and it's really really useful, guys. And I'll bring you, I'll be bringing you some team death matches of me just using that as well because you know guys I can't stress enough how good team death match is for building your KD and it's so easy. And you know, the best thing about Team Deathmatch, as I've mentioned in my other videos, is that if you're getting your face kicked in in Team Deathmatch and you're really not having a good time, it's only three kills off ending the game. And you'll see, I've just got my second pave low, guys. I cannot stress how fantastic Team Deathmatch is for getting your KD. Now, I will give you a really nice little quick tip here because it's come to the end of the video and that guy stood right in my way, which is don't play Team Deathmatch with a team or just play it with one of your friends because... You know, there's only 75 kills. If you want to get if you want to get a good KD, then you need to make sure you're getting a lot of the kills. So just play with one other person. Use some nice kill streaks, guys. And yeah, my name is Link Swallow. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to favorite and tell me what other videos you'd like to see in the comment section below. I'm signing out, guys. It has been Link Swallow.